hey guys welcome to another video in this guide i'm going to be showing you how to port twrp recovery to ab partition devices that do not have a recovery partition um, in our previous guide we looked at how to port twrp recovery to mediatek android devices but um, this only applies to device to a only and ab devices that um, have a recovery partition and um, add um, a recovery.imd file to work with but since we have some ab partition devices that do not have a recovery partition or a recovery.imd file we'll be making use of the boot.imd file to port the twrp recovery for um, these devices so um without further ado let's get into the video So um, porting TWRP recovery for AB partition devices, like the previous video, it requires um, three things. Now the first thing you need is your boot.imd file which you can get from your device firmware. Now uh, you can extract your device firmware from your device, um, I've dropped the link in the description on how to do that or you can simply go online and download your firmware and then extract your boot.imd file from it. Now the second thing you need is a TWRP port. Now a TWRP port is um, a TWRP recovery that has been built for a similar device with a similar chipset that you can then use as base to port a TWRP for your own device. Now the third thing you need is, um, is the Calvic Image Kitchen 2. Similar to the Android Image Kitchen 2, the, uh, the Calvic um, Image Kitchen 2 allows you to unpack and repack boot.img files and recovery.img files. Now assuming you have all these files in place, now let's start porting. So um, I have my Calvic Image Kitchen 2 here, my Infinix Note 10 stock boot image or boot.img file, and I have the TWRP 3.6.0 for the Infinix um, Hot S, which has the Helio G60, G85 um, chipset. So the, um, assuming you've downloaded the Calvic Image Kitchen 2 and you have all the files ready, Let's go ahead and extract the Calvic Image Kitchen. So once you've extracted um, the file, let's um, drag the Calvic Image Kitchen to RAW file aside and bring this to the center. Now since we have that, let's go ahead and extract our TWRP for the Helio, the Infinite Earth, um, Earth 10. Let's extract. So let's also drag the archive um, aside and bring the folder forward. So now that we have our files extracted, let's go ahead and um, open the Calvic Image Kitchen 2 folder. Let's bring that up. Now double click to open. Now once you extract, after extracting the Calvic Image Kitchen 2 for the first time, you're only going to be getting these three files. So what you want to do next is um, you double click on the calvic.bat file to um, launch the program or to run the program. So now you give that a moment to load the program component on the command um, interface. Now after calvic image kitchen 2 has um, loaded the interface in the um, command uh, line, you discover you go back to the folder and you discover that um, you have a new folder that says um, input. Now this input folder is where you put your TWRP image file and your boot image file. So let's open the folder and then drag to the side and then fetch our boots.img file and record TWRP image. So I'm going to copy the Infinix 10 S image. I'll, go, I'll remain, um, let's rename it, I'll rename it to shorten the name, TWRP, enter, so I'm just going to copy and then paste here, then I'll close the folder and then I'll do the same for the Infinix Note 10 boots.img file, so copy and then paste, then you close the folder. Now that we have both Boots image and the TWRP image in the same folder, you can go back to the main folder and then bring up the 
command line interface now what you need to do next is on the command line interface you have um four i mean five options sorry you have the image menu the clear folder the clear output c instruction and the exit uh command so uh, you enter i you key in i on your keyboard for the image option now this will display the list of um firmware images that you have in the input folder and as you can see here it, it has listed the boot.img and the twrp.img so now we need to extract the boot.img and the twrp.img file so you to, to choose um to extract the boot.img file you select the respective uh, the respective number in front of uh, the image so for the boot we have the uh, number one so I'll enter one and hit enter on the keyboard okay now we've selected the boot.img file so the next thing is to unpack and to do that we have some uh, command options here to unpack press one so we'll go ahead and press one now this will unpack the boot image file for us so let's give that a moment for the extraction process to complete Okay, now our boot.img has successfully unpacked or been extracted. So you click enter to continue. So the next thing is to go back and then extract or unpack our twrp.img file. So to go back, you have the options, the option I to um, pick other images. So you go ahead and enter I. Now this will bring up the image menu list again and then you pick you choose the twrp image from the screen so we have the twrp to be number two enter now you do the same process unpack using one so now you give that a moment to unpack as well Um, okay guys, our twrp.img file as I'm finished unpacking. So let's go ahead and then close the command line uh, window. So we can actually go back to the recovery main interface from here as well. Or we can simply just leave it on the twrp image file since it is the recovery we'll be working with and um, we won't um, necessarily be needing the boot.img folder after this. So let's just uh, minimize this um, command line interface. Now <clears throat> you bring the Calvic Image Kitchen 2 folder up. Now you see that you have the boot, uh, a new boot folder, and then you have the TWRP folder. What you need to do next is um, let's open the TWRP folder in a new window so that we can all follow this um, step. And then let's open the boot image um, folder on the right. Now we have the boots.img folder on the right, and we have the recovery, the TWRP recovery. Sorry, we have the boots.img folder on the left, and we have the recovery, the TWRP recovery folder on the right. So in the TWRP folder, you highlight all the components except the RAMDIX folder and you delete. Now you go into the boot folder and then you copy 
all the all the components or files except the RAM disk. Copy and then you paste it into the TWP folder. So once you've done that, you open the TWP, the TWP RAM disk folder and then you open the uh, boot, your stock boot RAM disk folder as well. I'm sorry. So now here you copy in your stock boot.am your stock boot folder you copy the prop dot um, default file and you replace it with that um, of the twrp so you replace the file in the destination so um the next thing is to go into your um etc folder so let's find the etc folder where is that I think the etc folder should be in the system folder yes in your system folder so you open the etc and then you copy um, this file the uevents.rc um, I'm not sure if the pronunciation is correct but you can see uh, this file that I have um, highlighted here so you copy this file and you replace it with um, the file in the TWRP system etc folder and then um, paste you replace file destination so now we're basically done with um, porting the TWRP for um, our device so we can go ahead and then close the boots folder we don't need it anymore so let's maximize the TWRP folder and then uh, return to the main folder on um, just a second okay. so now the next thing to do is um you will bring up the command line interface again now since we are done replacing the uh, files that we need in um, the twrp um, recovery the next thing to do is um, to repack the TWRP um, folder to get a new um, recovery image file that we can then flash on our device so to repack you simply need to um, choose um, the number two which is the repack option and then you wait for the repack and uh, the repacking process to um, complete So um, guys, now we have um, our TWRP um, folder has been repacked successfully and as you can see it says here that um, your new image was repacked as TWRP um, blah 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 dot IMG. You can find it in the output, uh, the output folder. Press any key to continue. So let's close the command window. you can simply um close everything since that we are done porting <clears throat> now you go to the um output folder in the carvic image kitchen um folder now you find the newly uh, repacked or ported twrp so um you can then copy this um the twrp that you've just ported and then you go ahead and flash it on your device using the ADB and Fastboot 2 or you can flash using um, uh, your preferred um, smartphone flash tool. Now for those of you that are wondering that um, how can you get um, the TWRP ports that you can use as base um, for your device, I've drop, I'll be dropping a um, uh, link to some TWRP that you can download and use as base for this tutorial. So guys, um, that's it. You've now successfully ported um, TWRP for your ab partition android device if you find this video helps you um helpful make sure you give us a thumbs up 
subscribe and then turn on the notification bell to get um notified when we publish more contents like this in the future so um i'll see you in the next one bye for now